Each year, nearly 60 million people suffer from acquired brain injury, 15 million suffer from a stroke, and thousands more experience a spinal cord injury, which can leave them partially or fully paralyzed. But now, thanks to new state-of-the-art technology, the Sheltering Arms Rehabilitation Center in Richmond is giving patients their mobility back. On your side tonight, new at 11, AJ Nwoko explains. This wearable exoskeleton has helped people all over the world take more than 125 million steps, including one local woman who thought she'd never walk again. Every day I just want to get up and walk. And I feel that I can do it right now. Maria Pollard doesn't let anything keep her down, not even partial paralysis from a surgery to remove cancer from her spine. One of the screws went into my spinal cord and shut the fluid off. For months, she's been wheelchair bound, relying on assistance to do the things she loves. I miss out on my driving, shopping. It's frustrating because I'm not used to this. Fortunately, she'll never have to be, thanks to the Sheltering Arms Institute. Are you ready? And this piece of cutting edge technology. Hold for stand. Like motorized magic. And standing up. She's able to rise once more and take her own steps. Give me that right first step. This wearable exoskeleton called Exo is giving Maria her independence back. And I love being in it. Thanks to support from the community, the Sheltering Arms Institute is the first inpatient rehabilitation hospital in the state to have this new technology. The robot actually allows us to grade the amount of assistance we give somebody. So for someone that um, is weak, we can let the robot do more. For someone that um, has a little more strength, we can make the robot do less. It helps you a little bit, but you have to be, you know, strong to make your steps yourself. Needing less help. This is Maria's third week in the device, and already her abilities have vastly improved. Initially, the robot was doing about 90, 95 percent of the work. Now it's doing about 60, 65 percent of the work. Just like Maria, the Institute is ready to make a lifetime of difference for others. Shift left. Using this technology, one small step at a time. And I'm really working hard and looking forward to walking out of that door with my walker. And if you think you could benefit from sheltering arms or would like to support them in their efforts, I place that information on our news app. For now, on your side, AJ Nwoko, NBC 12. Thanks, AJ.